All right, so we have, not 12, we have 11 weeks left. And this week was a little bit crazy because all week it was raining. And then during the weekend, it was a crazy heat wave with real fills of 106, 109. So this week, what I really wanted to focus on was making sure that you get at least some working out done throughout the week, kind of adapting to the situation and then going forward and making sure that you're getting your work in at the same intensity, no matter what, <laughs> no matter what you do or what you try, it's just adapting to that situation. Even right now, I've been super busy at work, having to drive up and down from Boston. So I am actually recording this at my office. And during lunch break, of course, not during pay time, but during lunch break, recording this to make sure that I get it in, make sure that I have all the video content and everything that I need so that I can go home and just edit it when I, whenever I have the actual time. If you hear a bunch of noise in the background, it's because I'm printing out a bunch of papers for a meeting I have after lunch. Once again, making it work, trying to do work while doing work. Probably not the best, but getting done. might sound like a broken record, but I really learned, I really learned about adapting, overcoming in the military, of course. That's kind of my formative year. So in the military, you always get thrown different situations, training cycles, uh, surprise missions and everything. And you have to adapt to that situation and make sure you get your work in. You know, if you don't service your weapon, if you don't properly work out, if you don't properly rehydrate, and a mission comes up, then when you're on that mission, it could be catastrophic. It could be a complete failure. And not only your life, but other people's lives could be in danger. In the civilian world, it's a little bit different just because it's like, okay, well, I lost out on that account, or I lost out on that client, or I lost a little bit of money, or you know, I gained a few pounds and got a little fat. But if you take that mentality of adapting and making sure that you make incremental steps forward to your mission like you would overseas or if you would in the military then you're always gonna you're always gonna progress and you're always gonna keep going forward which is the same thing <clears throat> all right so let's check out what happened this week and i'm gonna get on my longboard because i'm already late to my next client meeting It is Thursday. Today was a prime example of fitting it in or making it work. So I was in Boston all day, just driving around, meeting some clients and doing some inspections and everything like that. And traffic was terrible. It was been raining for the past two days. So when I finally got home, I wasn't able to actually get out and run. It was raining way too hard and a little bit of lightning and thunder. So once again, I didn't wanna get shocked or <laughs> get zapped by lightning, but finally got home, ended up going to the gym and hitting the stationary bike because that was basically the only thing I could do. And then the wife, me. she is super prego, about three months. And <laughs> she called me and I had to come back home and take care of her because she was feeling a little bit nauseous, take care of the baby and make sure everything was going well. So I had to cut the bike short. I got 20 miles in. Now I am feeding the dog and cat. He's over there. All right, Chris, go, go get it, go get it. And that wraps up today. It is Friday and making it work, fitting it in, is in full effect today. Yesterday I didn't get pretty much anything. Uh, I just got the bike ride. So I wanted to make sure that I had time to actually run today. 
and get in a little bit longer run than I normally do on Fridays. Um, <clears throat> so I'm out in Lincoln State Park again on my favorite Rhode Island trails and we are going to get um, maybe around 13 miles, 13 to 14 miles, a little bit more, a little bit less depending on how this actual run goes. It is pretty, pretty hot out. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to fare. I haven't been doing much in the heat. So I have to make sure that I don't kill myself. Um, I do have a bunch of water. I grabbed a gallon of water and then some baby food because I didn't have any sports gels or anything. So I just got baby food, which is a good alternative, I think. Um, I do enjoy eating them because they are delicious because <laughs> it's pretty much just parade uh, fruit. I love fruit, but making it fit in or <laughs> making it fit in. Oh, that sounds weird, but making it fit, making it work. I woke up early, started work early so then I could get off early and then I could get into the trails right after work. So I had to shift around my schedule a little bit to the left. <clears throat> I just almost choked on my gum. That was cool great content but shifting everything a little bit early waking up a little bit early starting work a little bit early so then I can actually get my run in and get home around the same time that I would normally get home so then I can help out with the baby and help out with whatever my wife needs in case she starts feeling nauseous again because lately ever since <laughs> ever since we've gotten to this point um, when I go out and run a workout later in the day something comes up and then I usually don't get a get in a full workout so I'm gonna start shifting it I might have to start shifting it in the morning um, early in the morning maybe do lunch runs again I do usually like doing those lunch runs but maybe I'll have to shift it back into the mornings and do lunch runs and then shorter runs or the gym sessions like actually after work but let's get out there let's get out on the trail and fucking oh I shouldn't say fucking and effing get soaked with sweat I'm gonna be fucking dr oh man I keep swearing <laughs> and get drenched with sweat because I'm just changing the back of my car like a creep again and I'm already starting to sweat so <sighs> let's see what we got There we go. That was it. 12 miles. I am freaking drenched. Let's check it. Hey, it's Saturday. Real feel, it's supposed to be 106 right now, so I'm like pretty much melting. I waited until 7 o'clock, 6.37 to actually start my run just because it's been so hot all day. But packed a bunch of water, 50 ounces, and then I have some electrolyte uh, packets and everything. So I should be good to go, um, taking it a lot slower, running at about 10 minute mile, probably slow it down even more just to make sure I don't die on the side of the trail and have people pretty much just walking by not even stopping and just taking pictures with their cell phones of the dead filipino guy just staying there so hopefully that doesn't happen but you know making it work once again uh running in this heat just taking it slow making it work let's get through this run hopefully i'll get a little bit more than 10 miles and we'll see where we'll get from there or see what we can get from there Hey squirrel. Hey, what you doing, man? You just, you just don't care. All right, I'm gonna get out of here before you spray me. It's Sunday, on the last run for the week. I'm trying to get about 12 miles today, maybe a little bit more. I might do a little bit more with uh, my dog Cusco. Uh, the sun is going down. It's, it's pretty awesome. Check it out.
didn't get as many miles in this week as I wanted to, but made it work, fit as much as I could in. Because of the rain and the heat, it was a little bit hard, but got as much as I could in. I signed up for a 50 mile, no, a 100K race. I'm gonna explain that a little bit more probably next week, but 100K race, it's coming up quick. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm not sure about the 100K race, let's see. Let's see how training goes. I only have about three weeks to get ready for that. So two weeks are gonna be um, tapering. And then next week is gonna be hitting it hard. I'm gonna to try to make that my peak week into my taper for the 100K. There we have it. Keeping it short for the outro, we ended up getting 45 miles total running and 20 miles on the bike. Uh, you might hear in the background my baby girl screaming because she's in the baby jail and she likes to scream, right, Lily? Ah. <laughs> there we go. Just to reiterate what we were saying throughout the whole week, got to make sure that you fit it in. One thing that I can definitely do a lot better is properly schedule my runs and properly schedule my days. Um, for some reason, I just like to live in the chaos and try to fit everything in. If proper scheduling, I've done it in the past, proper scheduling of when I'm actually gonna run, either it's gonna be in the mornings or a set time in the evenings. It is good to have that actual structure throughout the week. And then as the week comes on and things happen or the wife is nauseous and throwing up everywhere or the baby's pooping all over the place, then you can actually shift, you can adapt and get it and change that actual um, schedule. So having that schedule is definitely key. Now we only have about 10 weeks left. Next week I'm going on a bro trip up to Virginia or maybe Vermont and we're going to do a lot of hiking, a lot of good mountain climbing and try to get a lot of good mileage in to peak out for this actual 100k. Lily, quit screaming. To peak out, to peak out for this 100 uh, 100k that I have in 3 weeks. And then the next two weeks are going to be tapering. So it's going to be pretty exciting on this next week. See what we can actually get in the mountain. With that, make sure you fit it in. Do some proper scheduling. And also, go out there and get it. If you don't try, you won't get what you want.